Like many people, when I first saw Blood Notch in the spoiler season, I said it was cool, but probably not super useful. Because getting stunned really sucks. It's something that I'll sacrifice my evasion to avoid, and also a reason that I used to stack life. But at the time, I also said that Joseph was going to use it to make something amazing. And it's important to remember there's a lot of other innovators in the Pewee community, and so people began to tinker and found a very powerful combination indeed. Which means I'm probably not the first person to make a video on this topic. But I've recently been trying the Immortal Pathfinder combo because I like defenses and I'm playing a Pathfinder. This defense can be used on any ascendancy, but it scales particularly well with Pathfinder's unique mechanics for reasons I'll get into later in the video. First up, you need Blood Notch, the jewel that gives you recoup for damage taken from stunning hits. And you might be saying, wait a minute, but I'm not going to get stunned by every hit, which is also true. With a relatively low life pool though, let's just say 3 to 4,000, you're going to get stunned quite often, giving you a reliable source of recovery on the toughest of bosses, or when you stand in stuff that you probably shouldn't while mapping. Recuperating up to 60% of the damage taken from a hit is an incredible layer of recovery, though it should be noted you don't need to spend enough to get the perfect 60% roll, even a 50-ish percent like I have is totally fine. And if you have any ways to accelerate the healing or mitigate damage, then this is even more effective. But getting stunned constantly should be pretty annoying, right? Even if it's just on bosses, don't you want to use defensive mechanics to avoid being stunned? Yes, which is why you add immutable force to mitigate the stuns. This tool gives you up to 900% stun and block recovery, though much like Blood Notch, you don't need a perfect roll for it to be effective. Combine this with anything that lets you ignore interruptions from stun, such as the unwaveringly evil notable if you're using a chaos skill, and you won't really notice them ever. Though even using a lightning skill like I am, I barely notice stuns. Instead, I just notice how quickly my health comes back after I take a big hit, and how tanky I am to all the little hits that I take at the same time. So now, we've solved recovery entirely, but that isn't the only layer of defense. If you just get one shot, you can't really heal, and these jewels don't do anything to prevent that. Which is where Pathfinder comes in, or at the very least, a mechanic that I'm using and leveraging Pathfinder to accelerate. Because there's two great ways to add damage mitigation. First is the Progenesis Flask, an incredibly overpowered flask that I talked about last league. It prevents life loss from hit in exchange for taking the damage as a dot, a dot that's completely mitigated by the recoup from your Blood Notch. By default, it mitigates 25% of the hit damage. However, this mitigation can be scaled with flask effect. Like I said, it gets even better on Pathfinder. There's also the Petrified Blood Aura. This puts a buff on you, preventing 40% of the life lost from hits while below half. Again, inflicting the damage as a dot, which is, of course, erased by your recoup. It should be noted, these effects combine multiplicatively. So if you take a hit at low life, 65% of the damage is not prevented. It's more like 55%. Though using something like an anomalous petrified blood or scaling flask effect for your progenesis could result in mitigating even more of the hit. And another reason that Pathfinder is so great is you can permanently run a life flask with 100% uptime due to Master Surgeon. This adds even more recovery in the form of thousands of health per second. Which is quite the potent combo. Now, if you're curious more about my build, what skill I'm playing, how I'm doing it and all that, I'll have a video coming out soon, so be sure to get subscribed, that way you won't miss it. And maybe leave a like if you found this helpful or learned about something that could prevent your character from dying. The end result of this is a build that doesn't have a lot of life, since you don't want to push up your stun threshold too high, but does feel incredibly tanky. Almost more so than an 8k life jug from PoE Past. This 4k and change Pathfinder is absolutely about to rock your world and tank almost anything. Of course, you aren't truly immortal. If you stack enough things that mitigate or avoid your defenses, it can still get you killed. A good example of this is the anti-healing beams on Maven that will completely disable your recoup, thus mitigating all of your defenses here. Or at the very least, mitigating most of them, since you can still, in theory, get life gain on hit, which would allow you to recover to half, but you're losing your life flask, you're losing your recoup, and all of a sudden you're taking a whole lot of dot damage. 
But aside of hyper-specific situations like that, or, you know, making enemies auto-crit, removing fizz reduction, removing resistances, and all that sort of stuff, this will help you feel incredibly tanky. But because defenses are best when they're layered together, that's not all that I'm using. I've further got spell suppression to prevent one-shots from bosses, fizz taken as elemental to prevent large physical hits from killing me, and evasion to avoid consecutive hits. If you want to know more about how to properly layer your defenses, maybe check out my ultimate defenses guide after this, or the Maxwell article which will be down in the description. Now personally, I think dying in PoE sucks, so I like playing characters that have well-rounded defenses. Which is why I'm genuinely excited to see more examples such as this that add ways to build your character that weren't available before and are incredibly generic. Sure, I've played this on a Pathfinder, and it does work best with the Pathfinder Ascendancy. But I've also seen people play it on Occultist, Elementalist, Templar, and many other classes and builds. As long as you can get the Blood Notch, the Immutable Force, and hopefully both Progenesis and Petrified Blood, though even just Petrified Blood would help, then you should be good to go for a build that feels incredibly tanky and can definitely recover from hits almost immediately. One of the biggest downsides of Petrified Blood was always that if your recovery couldn't keep up, you were easily overwhelmed and killed. The ever being that your max hit taken will shrink down, though, again, through things like Pathfinder, you can mitigate that if you want to be even tankier. If you want to try this for yourself, I don't exactly know what price these jewels will be, as I remember I paid around 3 divines for one and 6 divines for the other, so about 9. Certainly not cheap, but not nearly as expensive as something like for Progenesis, which cost me around 20. And definitely a fair price for the amount of power it gives you. So if you want to try it out, do a little price checking, and remember, you don't need a perfect roll. Using this combo reminds me of Expedition League, when Flask Automation first came into the game. And I quickly discovered that you're able to combine Forbidden Taste with Use on Savage Hit to get an instant full heal whenever you take serious damage. At the time, it felt great, and I wasn't sure that any defensive combo would ever beat it. Until I used Aegis Aurora, and my health just instantly went back to full whenever I was hit. It was a super solid defensive combo, and I wasn't sure anything would beat it. Until now. Which has me wondering, what's the next defensive combo that ends up coming around to beat this one? With that said, I'm now curious, what are some of your favorite defensive combos? What's the go-to that you use on every build, or the thing that you try to do but can't always afford and love when you can pull it off? Let me know some of those defenses down in the comments below. And of course, before I go, a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for their continued support. For as low as $1 a month, you can help make videos just like this one possible. If you're looking for something else to watch, maybe check out my RF Jug series, another super tanky build that feels amazing to play. Or maybe my Ultimate Defenses Guide, like I mentioned earlier, it'll teach you all about defensive layering. Or you can go for a recommendation that's on screen right now. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.